Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Halls of Torment. So this is a roguelite slash survivor style game, vampire survival style game. We're gonna take the main guy here. These are all unlockable. You start with this person and then you unlock these through through quests. And if you look over on that thing, it'll tell you quests for each area, milestone quests. And milestone quests can be done in any, any area and are things that you are just constantly doing over time. Uh, the rest of them, you have some ones that are uh, class-based, like that one. Uh, some of them are, you know, based off different things that you can do in the game. So, and this will tell you where to go and what you need to do to unlock any of the things you are looking for. All right, let's go over here for the shrine. Oh, blessings. This is where your sort of roguelite uh, meta upgrades are. That You pay for them with gold, which you collect inside the run. And it's all the usual stuff, block strength, damage, defense, you know, gold, XP. All the normal bonuses you kind of come to expect from most roguelites. Some of them do get a little expensive, and but you get a decent amount of money per area. In the maps, there will be a well. This well will be hidden once you find it. Once you find this guy and then find the well, you can start sending items back from inside the run. And we'll kind of see that in the first couple of minutes and then you can use your gold again to unlock these items and then you can use them in any of the runs that you're in i have a lot of stuff that i haven't unlocked in here because i've been spending most of my gold on the shrine of blessings um i i just have this sort of handful of stuff but this stuff has worked pretty well for me recently they just put in loadouts which has made things a lot easier to swap between and you can kind of see you can kind of you can see what it, each loadout has and it makes it a little easier to do the character stuff so, over here, we have a thing that I can't remember. Oh, this was which hall we want to go into. Uh, your reroll systems are potions in this one. Um, and with this gentleman here, and you have to collect some stuff. I have not collected a lot of it, so we'll be doing a little bit of that today while we look at it. Uh, we are going to go in with the main, the original guy, and we are good. So, we will go into the first starting area. Now, uh, real quick because this is going to be different than what you'll see when you do things. This symbol up here is coming from this necklace. This necklace is what allows me to gather the items for the potions so that I can have more rerolls and that sort of things. And it gives you a very, very, very general indicator, as you can see from the amount of movement they're making, in the direction of where one of these herbs for the potions will be. Uh, here's your equipment. You can you bring it with you. You have four slots in the bag to pick up equipment while you're here, and we have six slots for items that for these upgrades that drop here. So we'll pick that one up and meteor strike. Let's go with the orbs because the orbs are kind of the usual, and the orbs actually give us an excuse to build for attack speed because the the orbs spin faster the higher you're not attack speed but movement speed so it's pretty nice we're gonna go with damage right now all right we're going to get a level or two in us and then we are going to start running down towards that other upgrade i'll just point that out in the middle right here all right so this game oh this game does have one thing that i definitely wanted to see show you it has you can turn on auto aim so it will just aim at the nearest one to you you can turn on auto attack, which I left on, which is spams your attack out. Mouse only mode allows you to move sort of like a Diablo game while also having those two things on, which is kind of interesting. Move only on hold. I don't think I've ever tried. Uh, the interesting thing about it is, is there's some classes where you want to turn auto attack off because they get bonuses for not attacking for so long. And then auto aim, I find, just kind of works and lets you be a little more mellow about it. So, uh, attack speed, yay! We like attack speed. Attack speed in this game is very, very handy because it affects literally everything that I know of. I don't think I've seen anything that it does not affect. These upgrades are marked on your map pretty early. Uh, the One of these items is not marked, and yeah, see. Now that movement speed will actually make those spin faster. Which is nice, because normally movement speed doesn't really affect anything other than itself. So having it affect something is kind of nice, because it makes it feel a little less 
I could have had range or damage. All right, uh, the character I am playing's main weapon actually is really good, and it's got a really good range and width, but it is definitely worth upgrading, and we will do that, because the cone you see is what you hit with, and on this character, it, you can get a pretty wide cone. Uh, cone size does not give you range. Only range gives you range, which sounds... It sounds like it should be the logical thing, but when you see it like that, because it says area, it can be easy to confuse that this is only doing the width, not the length. So range affects that, this affects your width. Even though it says area, it's, it, it is increasing the area, but only in that one dimension. So I'm glad that showed up right there because the way I was explaining it did kind of make me sound like I won that break. <laughs> Whereas it's it's the area thing that makes it kind of confusing. That wording makes makes it go like, oh, okay. But why would you tell me area and width if it's only doing width? I think maybe there might be something that it actually does affect the size of. That is definitely a possibility in this game. All right, let's take some extra crit because crit is good. We're going to pick this up. This symbol is the well. That's where you send things back at. Um, once we've picked up this, we're going to go grab that one of those herbs and then we will head towards the well and I will show you what that looks like. Basically, the well is just where you send your, your equipment back at. I do like that potions have started dropping a lot more. All right, so let's go with... I like Radiant Aura. We're going to go with Radiant Aura. Radiant Aura does a pulse of damage every couple of seconds. And with your attack speed, the more you hit it... Oh, oh that's nice. Ooh, yeah, we're going to buy that. We are definitely taking that. And we are definitely sending it home. That will allow us to have another potion, which is great. All right, so I like the damage, but I like the speed. I do, orbit distance, uh, yeah, fine. Orbit distance getting bigger kind of feels awkward until it gets smaller. Because your your brain says like, oh no, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't think I want that. I think I, I think I'd like to keep all of my radius, please. But a little bit later in that same upgrade tree, it it does the. Uh, Increases the size. All right, these are all. We'll take arcane splinters, maybe. I think I gotta figure out how to get a reroll in this screen, or dragon's breath. Let's take let's take dragon's breath. The only problem with dragon's breath is that you can sometimes end up moving faster. <laughs> it's just a little awkward. Uh, ten percent extra damage, or we can increase main hand. Well, let's just go with General Tap. Uh, generally, if you played Vampire Survivors, you pretty much know what the loop gameplay loop is going to be here. You're, you go from place to place and fight bosses, grab grab stuffs, build up your meta currency so you can continue doing runs, harder runs, and and to the new areas and see how long you can last and how bonkers you can make everything look. Fairly certain, at least for me. Everything exploding on screen is a fairly, uh, ah, oh yeah, see, we can get another, that other one, that'll give us our reach, so we've already canceled out that 5% loss, and we got a lot of damage, which is nice. This one does not have, that's what, ha this is what happens when you press the space bar. This one, this game does not have a dodge, some of them do, this particular one does not, uh, and I think in this case it benefits from it. Uh, the reason I say this is like Vampire Survivors with a Diablo 1 sort of... Uh, Diablo... The, the, the look, it feels very, very Diablo 1. It feels like... Uh, like a, I'm playing a game from, you know, that era that Diablo 1 was made in, and I like that. In this case, this is a really good aesthetic for the game. It keeps it simple. You can see everything on screen. And you can identify what it is fast, and, you know, in, in these games, since you can essentially die extremely fast, it's kind of nice. So, now we've got one of our... Oh, 
Nice. See, I, ha I, I it's been a been a patch or two since I played, so these little touches like those that spawning all those people is actually really cool. Cause before it was just like yoink, got it. See you later. Let's get some regen. Cause I think I'm gonna need it. Oh yeah, look, those dudes. That's those green guys. That's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad they put that in. That 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 actually is makes me happy because it's you know just one more interaction where you can see something cool happening. All right, let's see. Main hand block strength. More flame walls. Yes. The answer is always more flame walls. All right. Oh, there's the last green guy. I was gonna say I thought I missed one of them. All right, let's. Ooh, let's grab some cheese. Some life. Except for me. I cannot eat cheese. That would not be good for me. <laughs> yeah, see, if you look there, you can see where, like, if you get a decent amount of movement speed, you tend to end up running faster than the firewall. But, slow moving firewall does match the uh, Diablo aesthetics, so, you know, you kind of. Given you get there. Uh, let's grab movement speed so that we can outrun our firewall even more. Okay, so we can go get the rest of those herbs. Well, and that will definitely be something I want to do for a couple more runs with after I'm done this. Done with this, uh, you should try. It's a survivor style game. I mean, you can see the gameplay is just run around and let your weapons destroy everything. I'm hoping to get my alarm to not go off in the middle of talking. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting speed and distance again. Or do we want? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Damage and charge speed. So it'll go off faster. I would like to get, optimally, another boss fight. That way we can hopefully get something else. I think the next boss fight might actually give... Um, I believe the next boss fight gives them a, a piece of armor. Could be wrong. It feels like there's ever every X number of things you get multi-hit. Multi-hit is really good because it just kind of casts everything twice occasionally, <laughs> which is really great when you get to the point where you know you're throwing out five firewalls and. Everything is just evaporating near you. The range on this this radiant aura can become huge. All right, there we go. We got one one, one of the bigger bosses. So they have all attack patterns, which is cool. And uh, he's going down a little too fast for my taste because I kind of wanted you to see it. Oh, I went up a level. Perfect timing. Because I totally wanted you to see that, right? No. Uh, as you can see, he has attack patterns, and then you have to dodge them. He comes in and pretty much kite them away. And when they drop a box, it's an item. Otherwise, they'll drop that sort of scrolly looking thing. And that is... All right, let's see. We have not retrieved these. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can only send one thing back at a time. Okay, I'm, I'm still going to grab that. But, but we need to send the wine bottle back. All right, let's go send the wine bottle back, and that should about kind of show you what the game's about without 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 giving too many spoilers, because a lot of the boss patterns and stuff and the the fights in general are actually very interesting, and you'll 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 want to see a lot of it yourself. We'll go with the tax speed here. Now, here's our whale mechanism. We can choose one item per run and it will be retrieved to the surface so i'm gonna go with the bottle that that's i really like i bought these but the bottle is gonna give me another reroll so let's go in here though and let's try these shoes out i am distinctly slower now because the shoes that i had on were giving me a bunch of movement speed also why i was out running my flame walls already as soon as i got them see now i have a couple upgrades but i'm not getting as many not seen this thing go off a single time. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, critical damage coming with. Yes, sure. Yeah, look at that. 400 on those crits. That is nice. Alright, well, I will 
cut this off here. You have seen this is kind of the first level and just the basics of the game. Um, the game itself, it, they've got a number of different levels. The developer is very active when working on it. I mean, like almost every time I come back to play the game, there's something new. And that's always nice, especially when you, you know, it's not a very expensive game either. So it's really nice. All right. So, as you can see, that is your basic gameplay loop. Uh, I really like this game. If you like Vampire Survivor games and you like Diablo 1, this is almost perfect. If you like Vampire Survivor games, you're probably going to enjoy this because it has that same feeling, that same sort of flavor and formula, but with, you know, just a different aesthetic on top and, and a little bit of twists here and there on how things work. Like the extra characters and stuff are just as diverse and interesting as the characters in Vampire Survivor. So there's a lot here and there's a lot of replayability. And that is why I think you should play this game. So with that, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you come back for the next one. And if you want to help me out, subscribe, like, comment, any of that YouTube jazz, and I will see you guys here for another game soon. Have a nice day.